Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Gate Engineering Online Learning Classes. In this video of Quick Revision Series, today we will discuss about series analysis circuit and we will see a problem based on this topic. So, first of all, we understand its name. Series RLC circuit, it means a circuit which consists of the register, inductor and capacitor and all the components are connected in the series. The register, inductor and capacitor all are connected in the series and a voltage source is applied across them. The current is flowing because of the applied voltage source is current IT and applied voltage source is PS. So, this current flowing is in the component or in the circuit is the same current that is flowing in the register, inductor and capacitor because all the components are connected in the series. Therefore, current will not divide in the components. Same current in the register, inductor and capacitor but voltage will divide and the voltage across register is VR, voltage across inductor is VL, voltage across capacitor is VC. So, if you find, if you find out the voltage VR, we know the relation, direct relation VR is equal to IR. So, voltage and current both are in the same phase and VL is equal to XL I. So, XL is the J omega L that means voltage is leading by 90 degree from the current and VC is the voltage across the capacitor that is uh, IXC. It means uh, the voltage VC that is the product of I and XC is the capacitive reactance that is XC, XC is the 1 divided by J omega C and XL is 1 divided by XL is J omega L. So, voltage, inductive voltage is leading at an angle 90 degree from the current and capacitive voltage is lagging by at an angle 90 degree from uh, current. So, that we will discuss in, in detail in the numerical problem. Oh, so, if you find out the impedance of the circuit, impedance can be easily calculated by the voltage Vs divided by I. And we know impedance is nothing but the square root of R square plus XL minus XC whole square. Well, we know the impedance in the series RLC circuit is nothing but standard which is square root of R square plus XL minus XC whole square. If we plot this in the triangular form, if we plot this in the triangular form, the x-axis is the real axis that is the R and height is the XL minus XC that can be written as only inductive X and this is the Z because it is hypotenuse by using the Pythagoras theorem. And the angle between the inductance and impedance and the angle between the resistance and impedance is phi. So power factor, power factor calculation depends on the phase angle. So power factor is nothing but cos phi. Phi is the power factor angle and cos phi is the power factor that can be easily written as R divided by Z base divided by hypotenuse. Okay, so based on these relations, we will see a problem on series RLC circuit. So here we can observe a series RLC circuit is given where resistance is 12 ohm, inductor is 0 0.15 Henry and capacitor is 100 microfarad. All are connected in the series and across a voltage source is connected of 100 volt 50 hertz supply. In this circuit, we need to find the impedance. In the circuit, we need to find the impedance. We need to find the circuit current I. We need to find the power factor cos phi. And we need to draw the phasor diagram. So all these, those things we will see in this numerical problem by the given sufficient information. So, let me see how do we start, how do we start. So, first of all, we have a sufficient information of the supplied voltage that is 100 volt and frequency is the 50 hertz. We have given the resistor and current capacitor. So, first of all, we need to find the impedance and we know the formula of the impedance is nothing but square root of R square plus XL minus XC whole square. So inductor is given, capacitance is given, but we don't have uh, inductive reactance that is XL, inductive capacitance, uh, inductive reactance and capacitive reactance, XL and XC. So XL can be calculated by 2 pi FL, that is nothing but 2 pi, the frequency is given here 50 hertz. 2 pi multiplied by 50 and inductor is 0 0.15 Henry. So if we solve it, we will get a value of 
XL that is 47.13 ohm. Similarly, we can calculate the XC which is 1 divided by 2 by FC. If we substitute the value of the frequency and capacitance in this formula, we will get the capacitive reactance, frequency is 50 and capacitor is 100 microfarad. So it can be written as 100 into 10 to the power minus 6. If we solve it, the XC will be 19.4 ohm. Uh, sorry, XC will be 31.8 ohm. XC is 31.83 ohm. Now we have sufficient information for the calculation of impedance that we require to register XL and XC. So impedance is square root of R square, square root of R square that is 12 square plus XL that is 47.13 that we have calculated recently. XC is 31.83. XL minus XC whole square. After solving this equation, the square root of the 12 square plus 47.13 minus 31.83 square, we'll get the impedance that is 19.4. So first part is completed that we need to find the impedance. So for the calculation of impedance, we require register, Inductive reactance, capacitive reactance, that is XL and XC. XL can be easily calculated by 2 pi FL and XC can be calculated by 2 pi, 1 divided by 2 pi FC. After that, we can substitute the, all the value of register, inductor, XL and XC to find out the impedance. Now we need to find the circuit current. And it's very easy to find out the circuit current. Circuit current is nothing but, it's the ratio of voltage and impedance. So current can be calculated by the voltage divided by impedance. As we can see, the voltage is given up which is 100 volt and impedance is 19.4 ohm. So if we write 100 divided by 19.4, from here, the value of the current is 5.14 ampere. After solving this, next part we need to calculate the power factor. As I told you, power factor is nothing but it's cos phi from the impedance triangle cos phi which from the impedance triangle we will get the r divided by z because the power factor comes from this impedance triangle this is the xl minus xc this axis is the r this axis is z and this angle is the phase angle that is power factor angle so power factor is the cos phi that can be easily calculated from this triangle right angle triangle that will be the r divided by z and we have already calculated the value of impedance and already R is given that is 12 and impedance is 19.4. If we see the resistor was 12 ohm and impedance is 19.4 ampere. After simplifying this, cos phi that is the power factor is 0 0.619. If you find the power factor angle because we need to draw this phasor diagram, to draw the phasor diagram, we require the power, power factor angle. So power factor angle can be calculated by cos inverse 0 0.619. From here, power factor angle is 51.8. Power factor angle is 51.8 degree. That will be helpful to draw the voltage phase diagram. What is the meaning of voltage phase diagram? This voltage phase diagram comes from the impedance triangle because uh, R will replace by I. R will replace by V divided by I and VR divided by I. This Z will replace by V divided by I and XL minus XC will replace by VL minus VC divided by I. So I is common to all. I is the common to all and same current in the, all the components. So this phasor diagram will be replaced by a voltage phasor diagram Why? Using a relation of V R is the x axis, or that is the base, V L minus V C is the height, and hypotenuse is the V Z. And this phase angle is the pi, that is the same as the impedance triangle. So, so to draw this diagram, this is the phasor diagram, voltage phasor diagram, this is the voltage phasor diagram. To draw this, we require all the voltages. Vz, Vr, Vl, and Vc. And we can observe Vz is already given that is 100 volt 
and PR, VL and VC we can easily calculate by some formula that is VR is equal to I, uh, IR, VR is equal to IR and current we have already calculated that is common to all which is 5.14 ampere, 5.14 and resistor is 12 ohm. By solving this equation, we will get 61.7 for VR. VR is IXL and I is again the same in all the component 5.14 and XL we have already calculated that is 47.13 ohm. So we will substitute this here and if we solve it, we will get just by simplifying this product equation that is 242.2 ohm uh, sorry it will be volt because we are talking about the voltage similarly we can calculate the vc which is i x e and current is the same 5.14 and x e is equal to 31.83 we will write here 31.83 at the place of x e and after simplifying this we will get 163.5 volt so this is the vr vl and vc and VZ is already given that is 100 volt. Now we can easily draw the phasor diagram, voltage phasor diagram. As I mentioned, this axis is the VR, this length is the VR, which is 61.7. Phase angle is the same as the phase angle in the impedance triangle, which is pi 51.8 degree. And this hypotenuse is 100 volt. And this is the VL minus VC, which is 242.2 minus 163.5, which is equal to 78.5 volt. Okay, maybe uh, 78.7 volt. Fine. So here we have this. Is the phasor diagram voltage phasor diagram so in this way you can draw the voltage phasor diagram so for what we have seen in this so for what we have seen in this example in this example we have seen the resistor inductor and capacitor value was given and resistor inductor and capacitor value was given and the voltage source is also given with the frequency so we had to find the voltage Across all the components, we need to find the impedance, the applying current, and we need to find the power factor and voltage phasor diagram. So, for the calculation of impedance, we required the XL and XC. So, we, we have calculated XL with the help of 2 pi FL. We calculated XC, which is uh, 1 divided by 2 pi FC. Frequency was given here 50 hertz, and inductor and capacitor will be also given. So, impedance is calculated very easily. After that, current is nothing but voltage divided by impedance. So, this current is also calculated. Power factor is nothing but the cos phi, and cos phi is uh, nothing but R divided by Z by the help of impedance triangle. This is called impedance triangle, and this is called voltage triangle. So, uh, cos phi is the uh, power factor, and power factor angle is also calculated to draw the phasor diagram. So, phasor angle is 51.8 degree, and VR is nothing but IR, VL is IXL, and VC is the IXC. We have already calculated all the information required for the calculation of voltage. And after that, we have drawn the voltage phasor diagram. So this is the VR, this axis is the VL minus VC, and this axis is the voltage, applied voltage, and this is the phase angle. And this entire phasor diagram is called voltage phasor diagram. Thank you so much for watching this video.